The Bodder Evisceration Control System utilizes Allen Bradley industrial controls with safety integration to optimize the evisceration process cell. This provides efficient process alignment along with easy troubleshooting capabilities. The panel is designed according to IEC 60204-1 and offers the unified Bodder architecture. All components are Rockwell Automation Industrial Controls, easily sourced through a local supplier. The panel is separated into a high voltage and low voltage compartment to minimize interference and arc flash safety concerns. The Botter system includes five remote input-output stations communicating across Ethernet IP. This reduces the number of lengthy low-voltage cable runs, ensuring cleaner electrical rooms, less interference, and lower material cost. Two Botter PanelView Plus HMIs are included to display the evisceration layout and alerting the customer to the exact location of an error or malfunction. The HMI can be used to troubleshoot issues and collect diagnostic information. Finally, the HMI will display information such as line speed, performance of pack transfer, and transfer rate from kill to evisceration. Horn and light towers that display cell status will enable fast operator attention for safe and efficient operation when starting and stopping the line. The Botter Control System offers state-of-the-art information gathering and presenting to give you the information you want to see in a clear and concise format to gain a competitive edge and optimize your process. The HMI home screen provides a visual representation of the entire evisceration line. The touchscreen delivers the capability to easily troubleshoot and provide information to manage the evisceration line. Line speed is easily set in birds per minute. When the line speed is changed, the user and time is logged. The graphical overview of the TR88 state model shows the active state of each machine. TR-88 is a classification for different states of the machines. The code is broken down into equipment modules that follow the state model. This is an industry standard method for knowing the state of the machine while also providing a standardized blueprint for code structure. Data is available via OPC UA connectivity. Operators can select individual machines on the home screen, such as a cropper, to get all relevant diagnostic information. The legend on the top right enables users to clearly identify each component for more information. Alternatively, users can select each machine in the selection menu next to the home screen button. The Eviscerator 218 includes a performance monitor screen. It displays the pack transfer percentage of each numbered unit on the machine. Users can also see the total pack recovery percentage by hour and by shift. This information allows the technician to focus on the unit heads that are underperforming. Capacity utilization is also displayed to represent how many birds were on available shackles, showing missed opportunities. Traditionally, plants have no ability to recognize where a safety fault has caused the line to stop. These safety faults can come from a variety of sources, such as e-stops, pull cords, torque overload, and interlocks. The Botter system identifies where the safety fault occurred, then automatically presents and logs the cause. When a fault occurs, the operator can see the log screen by selecting the red bars on the left or right. The safety statistics screen indicates how many times a safety fault occurred during a shift. The runtime statistics screen shows the downtime incurred by the USDA inspector stopping the line. Plant personnel can focus on which USDA operator accounts for the most downtime, then decide on how to correct the issue. 
Shift Schedule allows operators to customize shift times each day of the week. Line drives that move the overhead conveyor are customized for each installation based on numerous factors, such as line speed, line length, and bird size. These drives must work together for optimal line efficiency. The Botter control system graphically displays the amperages of each line drive to aid in troubleshooting issues. By pushing the motor on the screen, you can easily see detailed technical information about a motor, such as velocity and a diagnostic history of fault information for that particular motor. If a connection is broken within the DLR, device level ring, a red flashing light will indicate where the brake is located. The system will continue to function even though a connection is broken. As an added failsafe, a single broken connection will change the direction of the ring to keep the line operating. However, if a second connection is broken, the line will stop. I.O. troubleshooting screen displays the status of the I.O. and indicates if the PLC recognizes the tools to help identify issues. Botter contact information, manual, and schematics are available for viewing on the HMI information screen. The next phases of development will deliver more control and data gathering. When ready for installation, PLC hardware will allow us to easily add sensors and cameras to detect items such as energy, air, water, and vacuum consumption. Additionally, machine performance percentage will be calculated. For example, the transfer percentage from the kill line to the evisceration line. Furthermore, the system will automatically turn off machine utilities when the line stops or does not detect any birds for a predetermined period of time.